Good afternoon, everybody, and blessings. Okay, I just want to give you an update about that uh, UFO, that unidentified flying object. And uh, this is Dabu, and I'm going to bring you in one more video today. It's got a little something else on there that I don't see going around. Okay, so let's let's listen, y'all. Defense was tracking a high altitude object over Alaska airspace in the last 24 hours. Out, uh, the, uh, the object was flying at an altitude of uh, 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. Out of an abundance of caution and at the recommendation of the Pentagon, President Biden ordered the military to down the object, and they did, and it came in inside our territorial waters. Uh, those waters right now are frozen, but inside uh, territorial uh, airspace and over territorial waters. Fighter aircraft assigned to U.S. Northern Command took down the object within the last hour. And this is Dabu 7. You just heard a U.S. spokesperson speaking on this object that was shot down over Alaska. Right here, as you can see, on the coastline, went down over frozen water. It looks like they're out there trying to retrieve it now. There's a C-130 circling this area on some of the flight uh, sites here. And they're saying that it was a high altitude object. Some are reporting that they're saying it was a balloon. It was another balloon. And this is coming off the feeds here. Urgent Chinese was was a balloon shot down off Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, confirms an NSC spokesman, John Kirby. So that's the first time we've got a spokesperson sitting there saying that it was a balloon for sure. Others are saying that it was an object the size of a car, and it sounds very similar to the object that was shot down the first time. This is becoming almost an every other day thing here as we're hearing these stories of these balloons popping up what was here in our country to where they said multiple times. Now over many different continents, many different nations, and they're saying that this is a huge operation by China. We also just witnessed the odd array of green laser beams that I covered in a separate video that was over Hawaii. China lying through their teeth about all of this, saying that they're weather balloons, when they're obviously not. So they said that this one was a threat to airliners in the region. So they downed it, flying 40,000 feet again, 40,000 feet, the exact altitude needed to detonate an EMP. Mm to shut down this country. Mm -hmm. Join me on the live streams Monday. Okay, and I want to say thank you, Debu. And I want to say that um, we've been having trouble with our internet, too. Uh, Andy was having big problems uh, day before yesterday to where they couldn't upload a whole lot of stuff, y'all. And uh, yeah, it's not good for work. It's not good for anything. But um, he shut down for a good hour. And uh, so did everybody else in the company as far as they couldn't upload a few different things, apps that they needed to, to get into. Uh, I don't know, y'all. But don't miss my next video because I want to explain a couple little things um, that I think is, I don't know, being misled a little bit. Um, but anyways, God bless you. And thank you, Sister Elaine, for sending this in. God bless you, sweetheart. You're always such a help. She's such a blessing, y'all. All of you guys are to me. You know, every time you show up and you make a comment, that just lights up my day. Anyways, y'all have a beautiful and blessed day in our Lord. Amen. Stay praying and stay looking.